And this next fight, we got a women's fight. Michelle Waterson taking on Jillian Robertson. And honestly, I feel like this should be closer to a pick than where the line is now. I think this fight could go either way. Obviously, there's a nine-year age gap, and Waterson has lost four fights in a row. So I get why the line is wider, but matchup-wise, I think this is a very close fight. Waterson has been high- fighting really high-level competition, and a couple of those fights she arguably won on the scorecards and didn't get the nod or was winning before she got caught. And Julian Robertson has had three fights at 115. She's 2-1, and one, but overall in her career at both 115 and 125 in the UFC, she's never beaten a ranked opponent. And almost all of her wins are finishes against low-tier fighters. Michelle Watterson, in my opinion, would be the biggest name that Robertson has ever beaten if she can get the job done. And if Robertson wins this, it's going to be through her timing a takedown off catching a kick maybe or hitting that single that she always likes to use and getting it to the ground. I mean, she's 2-6 and in decisions, and although her striking has gotten better, she struggles against fighters with good movement and speed. And Michelle Watterson, to me, has given away a bit of her speed and movement with the size she's put on recently, but she is hitting a little bit harder, I think being a little bit more impactful, not as meme-ish, you know, hitting the air with 100 strikes anymore. And she's going to be the faster and more diverse striker here by a fairly wide margin. I don't think Robertson has ever fought someone with the striking arsenal and primarily the kicking ability that Watterson is going to bring. And Robertson did fight top of the Ricci, who isn't really known for being a great striker. And Ricci was able to pot shot and move on Robertson. So if Ricci could do that, Watterson could maybe mimic that game plan. I do think it will be close in the feet, though, because Watterson won't open up as much. I don't feel like out of fear of the takedown, and there will be a lot of misses and probably not a lot of impactful offense from either fighter. Robertson's probably going to be coming forward, um, so it could look close. It could kind of be like similar to the Sparza versus Watterson fight, but ultimately I think Watterson should be savvy enough to squeak the stand-up. And as far as the wrestling and the grappling goes, obviously that's Robertson's wheelhouse. Michelle Watterson has emphasized that aspect of her game in recent years, though, and put on size to try to stop girls, girls from being able to bully her. Her balance, her takedown offense are pretty good, and now she's harder to control in the clinch, so she's definitely, in my opinion, gotten better. Her last fight, she got beat up bad in the clinch, though, cut up with elbows by Marina Rodriguez, but Rodriguez is one of the best clinch fighters in that division, and Robertson's clinch offense is nothing special. If Watterson gets put on her back, I think she's going to be in big trouble because Robertson is super physical and a beast on top, especially at 115. She could get a TKO or a submission, but I think it's going to be hard for Robertson to get this fight to the ground if it stays standing. I think it could be very close in this one. And I wouldn't even be shocked to see Watterson shoot takedowns maybe with like 25, 30 seconds left in the round try to steal a round with uh, a takedown in a close round because I don't think Robertson is the best takedown defense, honestly, especially when she's in her striking mindset. And I don't think Watterson obviously wants to grapple for long periods of time with Robertson, but if she could steal a couple rounds with some late takedowns, I think that could be a feasible way to differentiate herself in the decision. And I'm going to slightly lean with Watterson here to break that losing streak and get this win here. Maybe via decision, maybe even via split decision, but I'm going to go with the Watterson.